Hi guys and welcome to the channel Rod's Keto Cafe. Today I'm going to show you how to make a egg omelet on the pancake grill we just bought this past week. Doesn't that look delicious and welcome to the ch channel. So to start out with is the uh, star of the show. We're using a couple of cage free eggs. A, uh, yeah, I get whatever I can afford. And uh, again, we're going to take the measuring cup, going to crack two eggs into the uh, measuring cup. And, you know, the reason why I do that is because I want to put a little bit of uh, heavy cream in here and I'll mix it up a little, a little bit. And then I just to make sure that they don't get any shells. But uh, it's just been up making regular eggs today, like over easy, which I, I like a lot too now lately. Since I've been getting into the egg kick again. Um, yeah, so I'm just cracking in two, shell, two eggs and then, and then I realized they had a little bit of a shell and I took it out with a spoon. I, I edited that part out of the uh, video. And, uh, you know, right here I'm just taking the uh, little bit of heavy cream and cleaning up my mess a little bit into the two eggs. I ended up putting a little bit of salt and pepper directly into the eggs to save a little bit of time and to give the eggs a little bit of flavor. Everything what you can do here is off the taste. You can add garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, any kind of spices you want. Yeah, I'm not a spicy person. That's why you don't see a lot of spices on my channel. Uh, recipes there, 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 I'm adding the salt and the pepper, just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper each. Remember, salt is our friend. You can put about as much, as little as you want, as long as it's a good, clean, healthy salt. And uh, typically my choice of salt is uh, two different kinds of pink Himalayan salt or the uh, Redmond's Real Salt. And that's what I'm now just putting in a little bit of uh, cream in, just enough. Uh, I'm just eyeballing it, maybe about a tablespoon or maybe about a tablespoon and a half and then I'm going to take a, uh, my whisk and I'm going to whisk it really well and then I'll put a little bit of cooking oil on the uh, flat grill and then we'll uh, go ahead and just roll you know roll it around a little bit to get it uh, cooking in the biggest thing about the uh, cooking and the uh, eggs is just be patient with them and uh, the longer you let them set the more they firm up and it makes it easy to work with the eggs that's what I've been learning about cooking with eggs and uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, you can see me whisking over here. Remember, I'm filming by myself. I think I'm doing a pretty decent job, but let me know in the show more. You know, I wish I could get an assistant to help me film, and I wish I had better background drops for you and everything, but it is what it is right now. We live in an apartment. There's nothing to do about it. That's why I cut out all the original noise, and I do a voiceover now. So here you go. I put a little bit of coconut oil. This is a brand new uh, grill. I just got at the uh, Coles while I was shopping the other day. They paid under 10 bucks for this. It's, it's, I do like cooking like this, you know, but, you know, I got a pancake grill, but it's really, really big and bulky. It'd be taken out all the time when I just want simple egg omelet, a couple of eggs over easy and stuff like that. And to my surprise, these cooked up pretty good. The only problem I was having was trying to roll it over into a burrito or something like that, you know, for the, uh, the fold it in and fold it in. And, and then when I made uh, later on in the week there, I, you know, I found an easier method. To, so I'll do another method of I'm cooking uh, an egg omelet later on, so you'll know the, the best way to go about handling it. You really need either a spatula in a in a, uh, one of those slippers there, but uh, it works. It would work best with a couple of offset spoons. And I don't have knives, rather. I don't have that, but I'm definitely going to be sending out for that as another purchase. And over here, you know, the, I'm going to add some cheese on top, cheddar cheese, and. Uh, you know, a small handful of green peppers. You know, remember trying to keep the carbs, the carbs down low. And uh, even though this past week we had a little bit of a weight gain, we're not going by the overall week. We're going by the overall month. So I'm still down eight eight pounds for the month, and, it, and it's pretty much holding. So I'm pretty much happy with that. But remember, the goal is to lose between six and eight pounds a month, just so I can keep that on the course of losing. Uh, another 70 to 80 pounds before the end of the year anyways I'm just, just take them one day at a time and yeah here i'm just kind of like figuring out best way to go about doing this i did okay with that spatula but you really need a little smaller one and it you know and then the, again I, I ended up using a, a small spatula that i had there and, and then i ended up uh, on the end egg i made later on in the week but if you look at the uh, color on the egg it came out nice and golden brown the egg wasn't burnt again i cranked it up on high heat initially and i turned it way down to about a really low medium and over here i was just trying to plate it then try to get a good thumbnail photograph and then i, I wanted to have some sausages with that i ended up having uh, the photograph show three sausages but i ended up having a total of six and uh, the, and I ended up uh, taking frozen banquet sausage sausage patties, and I also bought the links uh, this past week from the banquet family, and they were a good, clean, healthy sausage for low carb weight loss. Mm -hmm. 
and I typically will have anywhere from three to six sausages a day when I make breakfast like this, and there you have our final product. Anyways, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Thank you for watching.